Emigration and asylum are reserved to the UK Government, but there is no doubt more that we can be doing here in Scotland. Is the First Minister aware of the Freedom to Crawl campaign being launched today by the Roof Coalition, including Shelter and other charities and grassroots organisations, drawing attention to the abysmal standard of accommodation provided by Mears on behalf of the Home Office for asylum seekers who are pregnant or who have babies and toddlers? Does she agree that the rights set out in the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child are being breached? And what will she do to challenge the UK Government on its failings towards some of the most vulnerable people in our communities? First Minister. I have not seen the detail of the campaign that Patrick Harvey refers to, but I will, of course, look at that. Um, I have uh, profound and fundamental objections uh, both uh, to the, the principles underpinning the UK government's system of immigration and asylum, but also many of the, the practical aspects of that, not least uh, the provision of inadequate accommodation for asylum seekers in the city of Glasgow. And this government uh, has on many, many occasions uh, raised these concerns directly with the Home Office, have often been met uh, with indifference uh, to those concerns, uh, but we will continue uh, to raise those. Uh, the provision of accommodation uh, for anyone is a, a, an important uh, right, but particularly where children are concerned. Obviously, this uh, Parliament, uh, just before the election, uh, took a, a decision, a unanimous decision, to incorporate the United Nations Convention uh, on the Rights of the Child into domestic law. That is something that is being challenged uh, in court by the UK Government, uh, and this actually brings into sharp focus perhaps why uh, the UK government is seeking uh, to challenge this, because they don't want uh, the decisions they're taking over things like immigration to be subject to that kind of uh, legal protection and scrutiny. But in my view, that's exactly why we need uh, the UN Convention to apply to everything that happens in Scotland, because the rights of a child matter, whether that child was born uh, here in Scotland or is the child of an asylum seeker. They are a child living in Scotland.